And we are back with Lachelle Yates from the Better Business Bureau. All right, so recently the BBB launched an investigation into a man claiming to be an electrician. So let's talk about how people can avoid uh, falling victim to these types of scams. Well, and that is one of the other dangers that you can happen with a, a home improvement scam is actually hiring somebody who isn't licensed. And we did find an electrician. He was claiming to be a licensed electrician in his Craigslist ad. And he also claimed to have an A plus with the BBB. And at the time he was unlicensed. The state is actually pursuing him for working without a license and he had a C plus with us. So those are the kinds of things that you really need to look out for. And I mean, you know, the danger here is that he's continuing to work he's still working he's still advertising and he's doing work that you need a license for and you need inspections for and this is for safety so that's again why you know if you are going to hire a contractor check their license use an accredited contractor with the bbb because we've checked their license you know, just because somebody claims to be licensed don't take their word for it these are the kinds of things that you really need to check out and those are you know plumbers electricians general contractors roofers if the job is over twenty five thousand. so those are you have to educate yourself unfortunately in these kinds of situations you have to know what jobs require license and what don't you can't always count on the contract to be honest, unfortunately. Yeah, and that is just one of those things. And they change their name maybe slightly or something like that. And you try and Google them and they don't come up the same. Well, and I mean, this gentleman will give you all kinds of excuses too. I mean, he'll say, well, I'm working with a licensed electrician, so I don't have to have a license. They always have an answer for any question you ask. That's why you have to know the answers before you ask the questions. Okay, all right, so someone is asking, um, how do I report something to the BBB? Oh, that's easy. So if you have a complaint about a contractor or somebody that you're having an issue with, you just go online and write homepage bbb.org says file complaint if you have come across the contractor that you think is working without a license or is doing something shady give us a call uh, our number is 336-852-4240 or you can send us an email at info at bbbtrust.org we would love to have that information because again we'll do an investigation we'll get the word out wfmy covered this um electrician uh, other stations did. So, I mean, we would love to have that information. That is our job is to get the information out there to protect you guys. Right, and no matter where you are watching from, you could always just Google BBB and your city, and then your yes. local um, BBB will come up. All right, so this person's asking, do I have to let a used car dealer make a copy of my driver's license when I'm selling them a car? You know, that's a great question. I would say in this situation, that that is not an unreasonable request. I mean, you're gonna be selling a car, they're gonna need that kind of information. And it seems like in this domain, we're talking about cars, that mm -hmm. they're gonna need your driver's license. It doesn't seem like an unreasonable request. Okay, um, this next question is, if I have my own business, how do I get BBB accredited? Oh, that's easy. Uh, you can just give us a call or you can go online. We actually have it, bbb.org. Uh, slash get dash accredited and you can fill out the information and the things that we're going to look for uh, if, well if you're a contractor of some sort we're going to look to make sure that you're licensed uh, we also do a criminal background check to see we want to make sure that if you're an auditor that you've never been um, convicted of fraud and some of those kinds of things we're going to do that kind of due diligence we're going to make sure that you have a, a b or better rating with us and those are the kinds of questions that we're going to ask and then you know after you filled out the application we mm -hmm. look at that we also we have a board of other business owners that do the final look at the application because we are made up of other businesses in the community and they have the final say and so we go through that application process okay great all right we're going to take a quick break from this we'll be back back in just a few moments.